Hello, this is a uh, small uh, example for the use of the free software, drawing software, LibreCut. So, uh, to make it simple, I'm going to make a simple drawing and uh, show you a little bit of the possibilities of this program. So, let's start off with a drawing of a small circle. On the left here, you can check the small boxes buttons and then you can see what you want to draw so we dr want to draw a circle with the center and the outside so um, I'm gonna start off by drawing on my red cross over here because the red cross is the the zero point of the drawing so start here go to here so now I have drawn a small circle. If I want to know the dimension of the circle, then I'm going to modify and I'm going to properties and I'm going to click the circle and I'm going to say, okay, the circle is center X on zero, center I on zero. That's the right red cross in the middle and my radius is 100 millimeters. I want to make this 200 millimeters like this. Now I have a circle from exactly tw 200 millimeters. Now I want also have some center lines into the circle. So now I'm going to with my mouse, mouse pointer to the right, to the right, sorry, and I'm going to my layer list. When you start the program, the layer zero is always present. Uh, I personally use the layer zero always for my drawing lines so I click it open then you have the properties of the layer zero then I say okay color is good my uh, the line thickness I want to have on 0 0.35 millimeters the line type is continuous it's alright now I'm gonna add a layer and I'm gonna call the layer center line And I'm going to say uh, the center line must be 0.05 mm thick and I need the center small. And I said OK. Now I'm going to draw some center lines in the middle of my circle. This and this. So now I have two center lines. Now I want also have a circle in the middle of my drawing. I must click the zero and then I must draw my circle in the middle. So like this. Now I would also have here in the middle a center line for some holes I want to draw. So click the middle, go into the desired measurement and say OK. Now I want to change maybe the measurement of the circles so I'm going to I'm going to modify I'm going to properties and I'm going to say what's the diameter of my radius line of the center line that's and I want to make it 150 so okay and this is the center line I want to make leave it at 100 so now I have one circle in the middle one center line circle and an outside diameter now I want to have some holes sorry I must click the zero I want so like this and this hole I want to have six holes in exactly the right angle so I'm uh, gonna do that first I'm gonna check this center line I make it a little bit smaller like this I'm going to draw a new center line in the middle, smaller center line, like this. I'm going to, I make now, I'm going to properties, and I'm going to say what I forget to make it a center line. Now I'm going to select with my left mouse button, like this, and then I'm going to modify. I'm not going to modify, sorry, I'm going to rotate 
what I selected and then you get the rotate options now I want to multiply multiply the the whole width in an angle of 60 degrees and I'm going to multiply its copies of 5 because the, the, the first one I have already drawn so uh, yes leave it like this so multiply copies 5 on an angle of 60 degrees and I said now OK and then I'm getting this I'm going to delete that this line modify delete selected and I'm going to make this again like this so this is the front view of a uh, pipe flange now I'm gonna draw the side then I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna over here like this this and this so make some center lines and now you see that that's this point you must so like this then you can change it later on like this now you see this line is long but I can modify use the trim Go. do it like this it's also possible an easier way to do it like this okay now I have my exact lines do it like this okay now I want to draw the holes into the side view the right side view so I need to go to the and I must not have I make it a, a, a dash line small and I say to the name dash sorry dash also 0 0.05 thick like this now I'm going to go from here to here and from here to here yes that's that's all right now I'm gonna go to modify and I go to move a copy first I'm gonna select these two lines and I'm gonna modify move copy and then we're going to check it like this and do it like this keep original otherwise the, uh, your selected item is gone and I do it like this uh, that's the fastest way to do it and now I'm going to select these four lines and I'm going to use modify and I'm going to say mirror I'm going to the middle of my drawing and I'm going to say it like this oh keep original and now I have it like this now now I find the, the dash line a little bit too wide so I'm going to dash I'm going to properties and I say dash small and I, I'm going to make it dash tiny it's better yes so the drawing is uh, finished now not quite because here I must also have a small dash line that's a diameter of this so now it's complete now the drawing is complete but I need to make some measurements inside the drawing so uh, I'm gonna just put one measurement inside to have a look how it how it first sorry my uh, my fault I must first make uh, 
another layer I call it measurement mess I, I showed it a little bit and then um, the thickness of the line is 0 0.05 but it's a continuous line so I'm gonna select it mesh and now I'm gonna do it like this going to here to here so now I have one measurement put in the drawing but you so all you already can see it's very small so I must change that also a little bit that it's gonna be a little bit better readable so I'm gonna going to edit and I'm gonna say current drawing preferences so let's start with the first one paper it's a four landscape that's good units that must be like this grid that's normal uh, okay this is the text height here's the text height of the dimensions uh, let's make it 12 and let's make the arrow size 10 I want to have an offset of 2 and I want to uh, enlarge stays the same and uh, also here the format units you must click this two zeros behind the dot is enough like this you see the, uh, the offset is a little bit too small so I'm gonna go to the current drawing and I'm gonna s put my uh, the line line cap to 2 and that's better so that's the first measurement of the drawing now I'm gonna put the rest in I'm gonna put this one in this one a little bit wider like this S and now I'm gonna put the center the circle center line in and here I must change something now I must change this dimension why because it's a circle or center line so I must modify and I must say properties and now I'm gonna ch change it to <coughs> that's the offici official way to do it now um, this one is good that one is good okay now I'm gonna make more now I'm gonna put more measurements inside measurements of the holes 40 also this I'm gonna change a little bit to make it easier because otherwise I must put six measurements inside the drawing so I'm gonna use modify I'm going to properties and I'm gonna say like this and I if you zoom in now you can you, you can see the small dot over here blue dot and I can take the blue dot and I'm gonna change it to here so now I need still have some measurements here from here to here and now I have everything if you take a look the this one this one that one that one that one yes now I have everything to have a, s a drawing of a simple pipe flange now I want to uh, print out the drawing I'm going to file I'm going to, to print preview in print preview you can move the drawings but you want to have, to have on paper always you can also sorry also you can change the size of the drawing onto the paper by doing this one to six isn't it's good yes that's a better form that's better so and now you can send the drawing to the printer if you want to go back yes put print preview out and you go back to the drawing so that's a, a simple drawing made in LibreCAD free drawing software uh, I hope uh, you have a small impression of this software and uh, if you want to try it have fun with it and uh, it, ha it has a lot more possibilities to make drawing so good luck and see you next time